I come from India, the land of Vasudeva Kutumbakam, which means world is one family. To this conference dedicated to global peace, organized under the leadership of Dr. Preston Moon, who told us of an almost an ancient Korean wisdom embodied in the concept of Hong, Ging, Hong Kik Ingan. India as a representative. <laughs> India as a representative of young country where more than 70% are below 35 years of age. Me being among them, it is with confidence that I can say that we, the world, especially the youth, can together ensure that this noble concept be actualized in the lives of over 7 billion citizens of the planet. Nonviolence is the DNA of India. Even our freedom came through this. Let us in this hall remember Mahatma Gandhi, who asked us to think of the poorest and the needy and, and saw if what would you do or what would you suggest that could help them. Any suggestion or any thing that you want to recommend which would actually affect the lives of the poorest and the needy. Command a reality in our daily lives. This is something which I will want to stress upon because you know, very often we, we talk about how things have changed and how things have evolved and we tend to forget the, more, the segment which is the most affected by change and by development which is left out and which is what we are here to discuss. A country of 1.2 billion people and of the largest digital revolution in the world, the impact of technology and empowerment of people through this revolution is truly remarkable. Its impact is multifold, which affects the richest to the poorest in the country. It allows people to realize their true potential and power, especially in a developing country where a considerable part of the population is still illiterate, but is becoming aware. Awareness is the first step and the most important step towards transparency, peace, growth, and development. I run a media company, and media has a very important role to play in this process. As the power of information moves from the traditional media entities into the hands of people. This is the most important aspect of a digital revolution in a growing economy like India amongst other Asian economies as it empowers people directly. This dynamic environment gives us an opportunity to grow and evolve. I want to uh, give you an example with a country with a population of 1.2 billion with, with the youngest population base in the world we are actually at the cusp of a revolution which has not been seen anywhere else. The power of media, the power of technology, when it reaches the hands of the, the poorest and the furthest from, uh, from the mainland, it is something which will truly remarkably have an impact which has not been seen before in the world. A fellow speaker just spoke of uh, a, a boat going up and down the Amazon River talking about the credit and talking about banking. I want to tell you that we have already undertaken in India the largest cashless economy initiative in the world by demonetizing in this dispensation of the existing government, which has created hundreds and thousands and millions of revenue opportunities for people who had never thought that it was possible for them to make money from means unknown to them. For perhaps they might have not been even aware of how to make money, uh, maybe a five or 10 years ago. Evolution lies at the heart of what we are discussing here today. It is the key to how things will evolve and have a huge impact on peace and development, as the new normal needs to be accepted and understood. It is upon us to engage with this reality so we can have peace and development grow side by side in what is the new normal. For one of the fastest growing economies in the world and the youngest country in the world, I can say the way forward is to accept how the world is changing and move and adapt with it as the power is going, to, going back to the people. And this is the underlying principle of India. This is underlying principle of thought of India of how it is growing and how it's evolving. I will not take any more time and I would like to thank you very much to thank Dr. Moon and Global Peace Foundation for providing us with this opportunity at this vantage point in time globally where the relevance of development and peace is more important today than ever before.
Thank you. Thank you very much.